So today's a big day. We're finally putting on the mounts. Or we're gonna make the mounts to level out the engine, level out the transmission, and then start on cutting the rear. But this is the first step. These are the parts that we've got. This is the Euro R pulley, single, no power steering. These are the universal bushings I purchased, just gotta cut them down to length. It's a little, one little longer than we needed, so this way we can just make adjustments. And these are the brackets that were made for the back. So they bolt over there. And there is our bolt. This right here, so it bolts over there. And then we'll just make some kind of tubular design to go down to the bottom to bolt into the transmission. But, as you can see, we're moving. So hopefully today we have it all mocked up, welded up, and we'll be good to go. So, small update. We cut the plate and got it mounted. So now we have a good surface to weld on when we get the whole transmission leveled. Put this side back on. This mount on now we're just making the little brackets so when we basically um do the weld right here and here let's but right now the engine is where we need it to be it's flush flat we have fairly good axle clearance we're just gonna take the suffering off and notch it maybe Right now, this is it. This is how she sits, how she's gonna sit. Has nice little hood clearance, as you can see. And that's pretty good hood clearance, so the hood should close, no problem. Now, see this mouth is fairly decent in place where it should be. So, we're good. We're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, that's the reason why I was thinking ah. it from the outside. Because right in here it has a little indentation. Yeah. Too. So they need to put them on inside. Mm -hmm. So let's make sure it's out here. For the inside pipe, right? Oh. Huh. Maybe we should be able to should be able to make it. Second one over here. These are the mounts we're gonna use. Just had to cut it to fitment, and then cut the outside tube like this again. And then that's it. So about an hour later, still working on these mounts. The hardest part was honestly getting everything level. Once we think it was level, we had to move the motor around again. A whole bunch of stuff. So right now. A lot of space in between that. The axle has good clearance. As you can see. So, right down there. It is flush, straight, measured from the back to the front, to front to the back. Everything is more or less centered. So, hopefully, we get it tacked up, make these mounts, and we should be good to go from there. Starting to sit like a cake. <laughs> a little bit above the front rail. Our strut tower. Instead of doing the other one, we have to do that today. Oh, he gets a time. He's got a, he's got a time thing. He's got me on by eight o'clock. Ah, yeah. shut up. Your ankle monitor goes off at eight o'clock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Those things> always. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know how long the wife lets him not play with us guys. Yo, that must really suck. Now that that's all estrogen in that household, you don't do it. Now you can get estrogen. No, this is a girl. That's a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Alright, that should be here. That right? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna think he's even gonna move to Okay, so now we're gonna come. This amount that we made. Everything's in place, it bolts up. That's the mount we're working on for the back. And that's the front. Transmission side we're gonna work on it tomorrow. More or less the motor is level, flat, stable, whatever you wanna call it. We made sure of that. And so far, got some fairly good clearance for the axles. And tomorrow we're going to be doing the other side, the transition mount. Then that's it. After that's done, it will be suspended by its own power. So, thank you for watching. Oh, sunny day.